In this segment, I'm going to focus on understanding and looking for the resources that you've received once you've searched through the key. This area, we came in using Mathematics Grade 7. We searched on a standard for the Common Core, and we received these results of learning objects that are aligned to that specific standard. When you come in to look at a resource, there are a couple things that you probably will want to do first. The first one is to review the resource by looking at the title, subject, type, rating, and usage. These columns all indicate various tags and various pieces of information and metadata applied to that resource. Of course, you'll see the title. It'll tell you exactly what the resource is. You can hover over that title and receive the link so you'll know what website that this uh, or where this is hosted. You'll also see the subject that it's aligned to, especially this is important if you chose a NETS S standard or a literacy standard where those subjects can be varied. The type would be a resource, what kind it is, and in this case these are all web links. Other types could include documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, presentations, audio or video clips, and other types as well. The rating value is user rated. So how many times has this resource been accessed? You can count that over in the usage column. My favorite area in this is the rating value. This allows the users to tell you exactly what they think of that resource. I'll share more about rating a resource in a later session. Additionally for the resource, you'll find the expansion box over on the left hand side. Once you click on this box, it explains more in detail the information that you are looking at. So in here I have a description which gives me a couple of sentences about what the resource actually is, the grades that it could be used in, the standards it's aligned to, its classification, which can also double in its type. So the classification is going to be a little bit further in detail. Where this is hosted, and most of them are going to be Georgia Department of Education, that's what the GADOE stands for. You might see some things such as GAVS, G-A-V-S, that stands for Georgia Virtual School. We have other items from Thinkfinity, Learning Village, and other sources of DOE content. The domain is attached to its assessment value, so where these standards are falling into the domain on assessment. And then the vendor, that is actually a column that we use more so than a user would be interested in. The favorite parts here are the description, the standard, and the classification. These are going to give you great ideas and great detail about that resource. You'll notice that you have a click box here. And I'll share further what, each, what you can do once you've clicked on these resources in another segment.